Each year, 300,000 immigrants are arrested in raids and along the border. What comes next is detention. The government has turned to the private sector for these services. Our contract is ICE, and uh, we're here to uh, take care of the product that they deliver to us. The trail of taxpayer dollars leads to the nation's largest private prison provider, Corrections Corporation of America. A large concentration of the company's detention centers are in Texas. Her detention was probably the most excruciating experience for, for our family. As the business of immigrant detention grows, CCA makes record profits. And as we look at uh, Immigration Customs Enforcement, uh, we see that the budget supports detention population of 32,000 uh, inmate beds or detainee beds. That's up from 27,500 the previous year, quite above where the president's original budget was. So we're pleased to see that the government is funding the adequate needs for Immigration Customs Enforcement. Critics say the business is inhumane. They're profiting off the misery of human beings. And they're profiting off what I think is the last bit of hope that we had in our country, and the hope that we were the, uh, the, the beacon of human rights in the world. Mm -hmm.